hate these people that drive around with these pimped out cars with 8,000 speakers and they want to blast their music on level 2000. Stop it. Turn down, SZA, damn. Turn down for what? Damn. Hi guys. Okay, so today's video is a very, 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 very exciting one. But I had to make the intro quick because I am late for work because I spent four hours doing this makeup. So today's video is about the Morphe X James Charles collab palette. It's probably the biggest Morphe release ever. One of the biggest makeup launches ever. If you haven't heard about this girl, you're going to hear about it now. Beautiful 39 shade color palette curated by James Charles in collaboration with Morphe Cosmetics. It's a great replacement for the 35B, which I do have. The 35B does not hold a candle to this palette. I'm telling you right now in the intro, it doesn't at all. So if you already own the 35B, you still need to keep watching this because it's that deep. Um, I, I play, as you can see, I play with all the colors in this palette and I recreate one of the looks that he did, um, I believe last year or earlier this year. It's like his, he did this look for Coachella more smoky this year and then I've, I'll put screenshots up on the screen of the looks that I'm, to, that I'm talking about that gave me the inspiration for this look and yeah I think I got pretty close if I do say so myself I think I did kind of good the eyeshadow palette is $39 for 39 eyeshadows so it's a really really good price point so let's see if these eyeshadows are gonna perform like more expensive eyeshadows if you're interested in this palette keep on watching and yeah as always subscribe don't leave me subscribe okay that's it bye and i am fresh out of ulta i went to ulta yesterday to pick this up and i picked up the palette and the eye primer i am so upset i really wanted the brushes but i didn't know they weren't going to be in ulta stores so i didn't get them i don't have them i'm really really sad because like I, that's what i wanted the most to be honest was the brushes I'm gonna order it off morphe.com when it restocks and I'll let you guys know about that later. But today we're focusing on this palette. It's so white, it's almost uh, overexposed. Let me just see if I can show you guys what it looks like without the light turned down. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little better. That's the outer casing. It comes with this little bubble wrap. You pull that out and you get this, which, oh, the black you can see what much better. Morphe X James Charles. It's gorgeous. Oh my God, it's very sleek, very sleek. So I like that. So I guess who's back after 70,000 years of putting on my eyebrows. I had to conceal around my brows because I haven't got my eyebrows done in months and they're looking real dusty right now. So I had to. But I'm going to use the eye primer on my lids because he, um, whew, James Charles in his reveal video, he did say that it does not, the shadows do not work well with shape tape and they work best with an actual eye primer. And I was like, well, I don't use eye primer like at all. Like I don't even own any eye primer. So I went to the store, I was like, if it doesn't work with the Morphe eye primer, I don't know what else to do. So I said, I'm going to use the Morphe one. If this don't work, then I don't know. I'm going to take this Morphe brush, I'm just going to blend it out. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Okay. It's definitely not translucent though. At least not yet. Do y'all see what I mean? Like, eye primers aren't a solid base. Like, they're not. <sighs> I like an opaque eye primer. If I'm going to use an eye primer, I want it to be like opaque and cancel out my whole everything like my sins my past lives everything cancel it out we don't want to see anything and everyone that i've been seeing doing this has not been setting their eye primer so i won't be setting mine either but he also said if, for the pressed pigments i believe it's better that you pack it on i'm gonna start with this yellow shade called ooh, b i'm gonna take this yellow and we're gonna see what happens okay i'm seeing pigmentation that looks good a good start mine doesn't look as vibrant as everybody else's and i'm using the morphe eye primer i mean it's pretty good though it's a pretty good yellow it's just that it's not like his in the picture i'm going to take this little fluffy brush here and i'm gonna go right into the shade 518 yeah i'm using the little name thing here and then i'm trying to match it to the palette so the first shade I went with was this bright yellow shade named B, and now I'm going to go into the shade 518, which I believe is also one of the pressed pigments, so I'm going to go in and press. Like he said, I'm not going to blend yet. And there's very, there's kickback in the pan, but it's very minimal. Oh, it's a very uh, bright orange, almost neon-y. It's very pretty though. 
I love the way the orange is picking up more than the yellow. Do you see how the yellow has that kind of like greeny cast? Like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I feel like if I had shape tape on, it wouldn't have that shadow because I, my eye would be completely canceled out. So the next shade I'm gonna go into, I wanna try the, the one that like is, is like super super pigmented. It's called You're Kidding and it's a true matte red. Um, not something you see all the time on the market and it's supposed to be extremely pigmented. Ooh, it's a lot of kick up and a lot of uh, product, but it is pigmented though. It's very pretty. So it is showing up, it is showing up, like definitely. I'm not blending anything yet, I'm just packing the color on. Actually, I think on this side to blend everything out, I'm gonna take the shade, whew, excuse me. I'm going to take the shade Tune Face. So this is Face, this is Tune. So this shade right here, a very pale yellow, um, I'm gonna take this shade Tune and I'm gonna try to use that to help us blend out these three press pigments we have going on right now. This yellow shade is so pretty, but it's not. It does have some drawbacks to it. It's oxidizing ever so slightly. It's going a little bit green on me. Don't know what that's about. I'm gonna use this little flat pink brush. And it looks like on his outer corner, he has some hot pink. So I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Skip. And it's a little bit brighter, but I'm gonna throw it like right on the outer edge. Oh, Skip's really pretty and it's very pigmented. I love that. I love it. Isn't there a shade called Love That in this palette? Where is it? Yes, it is. <gasps> That's the shade I'm about to go into. I'm literally about to go into the shade called Love That right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Love That and I'm gonna put that on right on the outer part. And I'm gonna take it like this. What I'm gonna do to blend that in is I'm gonna take some of the shade, again, you're kidding. I'm gonna go back with that and replace it because I don't want it to get lost in the pink. Okay, so that's the start of that eye. For the next eye, I'm gonna work from inner corner to outer corner. So I'm gonna start with the light green shade. And that is the shade Social, <laughs> Social Blade. This limey green shade here. Hit me with it, please. Come on. I'm gonna stop with the green here. And I'm gonna move into the shade. Who? boy, I'm gonna move into the shade hello which is this bright blue shade it's the one that i'm really actually really really excited to work with it just looks so vibrant i just ugh, it looks so good please look good oh come on but no let me give it a second it's gonna show up i have faith we just gotta give her a second there we go so we're gonna take the blue and we're gonna take that in here just like so and you pack 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 pack, pack that color on. i'm slowly blending it into the green because I want these two colors to merge together and create that third color because I don't have that middle color that he has on in the picture. I want to kind of artificially bring it in there. I'm going to go into the shade. Actually, I'm going to go into two shades. This First, I'm going to go into this shade here, which is called Brother, I believe, if I can read it. And then the one right here is called Cola. So they're both dark blue. One's more of a true dark blue. One runs a little bit more navy. So I'm going to just... Hit this in the pan, pick up quite a bit of product, and just pack her on there. Like just right there. Ooh, this pig the pigmentation on this one is beautiful. Wow. I am low-key shook. On the other side of the brush, I'm gonna take the shade Cola, and I'm gonna just see what it does for us here. If it'll darken it up. Ooh, it does, yes. It does quite a bit. Ew, wow. And then I gotta have the tinge of purple on the outer corner. So, for the, our little tinge of purple, I'm gonna take this pencil brush. And we have two purples in this palette, dark purples. We have the shades Single and Escape. And I love both of them. Not even gonna sit around and lie. They're gorgeous. Purple is my favorite color. And I'm gonna tap into one right there. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take the same brush actually let me not even waste my time take the same brush and go into the shade escape which is the even deeper purple and i'm gonna put it just right here like it's just so freaking pretty and i'm gonna blend the two together as best as i can i'm just going back in with the colors and getting them distributed how i like and i also see that he has a little bit of 
pink on the very edge of his purple like just the tiniest touch like the tiniest kiss of pink on the edge of each on this eye and I'm gonna just skim the outside just ever so slightly right here just skim it around right here and the same thing on this side as well I just want to take some pink and get it right there on the edge a little outside connector junk type thing now for this side to blend the top I'm gonna to be going in with my little teeny blender and on this shade I'm actually on this side whew, I'm actually gonna use a neutral shade to blend everything out so I'm gonna use the shade canvas you know blank canvas obviously guys I hope we're on the same page and I'm gonna just start blending up here and getting these colors kind of correct in this brow bone area I'm gonna blend these edges out he cut his crease how how because I'm like how do you do a cut crease with this if you can't use concealer okay he said he's using a concealer to cut his crease so I'm assuming that means that I can use a concealer for the shimmer shades. I don't have a white concealer yet. I will be getting one. Don't think I won't. Okay. But the lightest concealer that I own at the moment is Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium Honey. This is what I got. So I'm going to do what I got to do. So my crease is cut. Um, it looks like his, uh, what is that called? Oh my God, words. His lid. It looks like his lid is, hold on. Sorry, I'm being freshness right now. Looks like his lid is a white color. What shade? What's she called? Oh god, I messed up the shade thing. Hold on, everybody. I think this is Flashback Mary. Yes, Flashback. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the shade Flashback on a flat brush and packing it onto my lid. This one has a little bit of kick up, and I'm really digging my brush in. And we're going to see if it will do what we need it to do. Mm, it might be a buildable. It might be a buildable way. Let's see. Oh my god, that does not look good at all. What the heck? Everybody hold on to me. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this down because I don't like the way that looks on me. He's literally doing exactly what I'm doing. He didn't set the base, he's tipped. He's dipping into the shade flashback and putting it right on top of the concealer. Mine's doesn't look like that. Ugh. His looks like a beautiful stark white and mine's looks like... No. This white is who? She's where? She's what? Um, the, this is the first shade in the palette that I don't agree with about the pigmentation. Like, I don't think it's that pigmented. I don't think that it's that good. Not saying that it's bad, but it's not like amazing. It's, you know, I'm having trouble with it, getting the pigment to build up and like, like honestly, like you see me, how many times I've layered. I'm gonna take Rusted and 518 together and kind of just take them right in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're running into an issue now. Uh, do you see this patchiness that I'm getting right here? This blue won't stick there on top of the white. It won't stick. I've been applying and applying and blending. And I'm a little concerned about that. I'm going to try. I'm going to do it again. I'm taking a mixture of both the two darker blues. And I'm packing it right here in this area. Right here on the outer corner. And I'm putting it there, but as you can see, it's still patchy there. It doesn't stay. The pigment kind of just fluffs into the purple. And it's like, girl, I didn't want you to do that. I'm not going to keep playing around with this anymore. I'm going to move on because this is freaking ridiculous. Um, 
I'm not gonna say my current thoughts right now, but I have a mixed opinion. I'm gonna clean this up, throw on my base, and I will be right back. Hello guys, so as I was doing my face makeup off camera, I just remembered that, I'm not even looking at the camera, I'm talking to my mirror, um, I'm sorry. As I was off camera doing my makeup, I realized that there's a highlighter in the palette that's for your face. And I'm like, oh crap, I just put on my highlighter. So I'm gonna try it on my nose and my cupid's go. Right now I have on uh, Jackie Ina X Artist Couture, the peach, my most favorite highlighter. I had to bring it out for this look. But I wanna try this one that's called Face. It's supposed to be a face highlighter. And I do remember him saying that in his video. So I'm gonna toss her on. Let's see. It's very neutral, like a neutral champagne. Ooh. it's very pretty yeah it's very neutral i would say this is for light to medium skin tones if you're gonna ask me i'm gonna tap in some of it and try to see what throw on top of the peach and see what it looks like okay so it's very blinding and pretty but it's a very neutral highlighter so it's good like it's a good this is a good thing not a bad thing i'm not saying neutral bad i'm saying like it's a good highlighter because you can wear this probably with like any look. But like, cool, warm, you can throw this on with everything. Oh, you know what I should do? I should take this face shade and try it on my uh, brow bone and on my inner corner. Let's do that. Take this shade and let's stick, let's stick her right in the brow bone. You can't even see it right now, can you? Can you see it? There she is. Right in the brow bone highlighting all the hairs that I have not plucked out. Oh, I lied. I'm going to take the shade ring light this really bright shade i'm gonna throw that right in the inner corner so yeah he's taking a he has a very bright almost white shade in his inner corner so i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna try to dab it right here this is dry no setting spray Ooh, i like this too i actually really like that i really like that i'm gonna take this shade again which is called ring light and i'm taking it on a big a shader brush now I am going to spritz her just once oh that was twice I'm going to pull from the inner corner and I'm going to pull inwards yeah that's pretty that's what we came for okay she's doing what what's her name what flashback Mary should have came to do like she's doing what the girls wanted you know what's crazy though? I still gotta do my lower lash line. Don't even wanna talk about it. I don't even wanna talk about it right now. I am so turnt right now. Like, I love the way my makeup came out. Let me zoom. Let me scooch in. Excuse me. Hello. I am so happy with how this turned out right now. It's not even funny. Ooh, my back hurts so much. Jesus Christ. I had to turn the music off. This is serious. I love my makeup right now. Like, my mirror's down here, it's what I'm looking at. I'm just like, I did that. I did that, I did. I'm gonna put a picture of the look that I tried to recreate and you guys can tell me how I did. But I'm gonna get a little closer, get all close and personal, all up in the camera, hello. And I'm gonna just show you what I did basically. We got the pink into the purple into the magenta into the navy into like the indigo into the blue 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 the green and then the yellow into the orange into the coral into the red into the magenta and i just love it and okay i'm close my eyes now it's definitely not perfect by any means but i tried and i think i got a good enough result so i'm happy with it <sighs> Skin. Um, if you want, if you guys want like a foundation routine video on like my skin that I did in this video, because I feel like my skin looks really good today. If you want a thing on how I did my skin, comment down below. Let me know, because I think I actually want to film that video. Like skin and like my collarbones are highlighted too. Like I did some chest highlighting and stuff. If you guys are interested in how I do like all this kind of stuff, let me know. I'll do a video on that too. Like I love highlighting. What is the verdict with this palette? I have a mixed review but a good review so 
to give you the rundown in this palette oh god I can't even open half the time I can't open the damn thing um I love 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 the color story in here I can tell that he took time to coordinate the colors because they go with each other beautifully and it's just very well curated so I love that um, I'm doing another video with this palette don't worry I know I use most of the mattes today but that was the goal next time we're gonna be doing something more warmer more neutrals use this part of the palette that we didn't get to touch so much today that's gonna be fun I really want to go in with the black I actually should have dab with the black into my eyebrows because I was just being weird but yeah I also what I didn't tell you guys that I did I put the NYX jumbo white eyeliner pencil in my waterline and topped it with flashback and it was okay there but even in the waterline it didn't come up that well and that brings me to my first drawback with this palette in my opinion the white isn't that pigmented I'm sorry to say it, it's not really impressing me when I tried to put it all over the lid it wasn't looking good I had to go on it over it with a ring light I believe is this beautiful shade here I love this shade like I love this shade but flashback is not doing it for me personally unless you have a white base that's full coverage already maybe you'll get full opacity but i wasn't getting it and you guys saw how many times i layered that white like i i put effort i was digging into the pan you can see that i dig into the pan and it just wasn't hitting for me excuse me the other issue that i had was with these dark blues I'm sorry these two dark blues here mostly this blue but both of them I had a slight issue blending and I these I did see that in someone else's video I think only one other person but I'm like at least I'm not the only one who had an issue I had an issue blending it right here in this area you can still kind of see it it's a little 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 bit patchy right in there but my lash covers it so it doesn't matter but that is something to be aware of you are gonna have to work to blend the darker colors a little bit but it's not it's nothing too like the rest of the colors are perfectly fine it's like normal blending you have to work a little bit, little bit more with the blues everything else have blended perfectly like seriously even the pressed pigments yes you have to press and pack and then blend not blend and no press pack blend that is the way this palette's gonna work i do feel that this palette is gonna be a little bit i gotta put this down y'all it's heavy I do feel like it's gonna be a little bit not beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner and you want to use this palette, I would watch tutorials, watch the videos and reviews on it so you can understand how to use it. For someone like me who like, this is my thing, like artistry, I'm like, I love it so much. I love it so much. Like I, I, I don't mind doing the press pack blend. I don't mind doing the eye primer, the different techniques, because this is what I love. So like for me, who's into makeup, I don't mind getting 70,000 brushes and different this and different that. I don't care. I just want to use it and get the product like this. So for me, it's cool. If you're a regular consumer, regular everyday girl, and you don't feel like putting in all that work, I would think about it. But it's a very good deal. It's basically a dollar per eyeshadow, $39 for 39 shadows. I mean, and can we talk about how these middle pants are huge? I love this style of palette. So I'm really happy with this. Those are my two criticisms. I think that was it. Um... Oh, the yellow oxidized and did go a little green i don't know if you guys can tell if it's even still there a little bit let me add let me add her back in a little bit bring her back to life the yellow yeah i keep having to liven it back up and then it oxidizes and it does go a little bit green i don't know what that's about but i don't know i'm gonna try it again definitely next time i use it and see what i get but it's still very pretty but it does do that oxidizing fading thing i don't know what that's about Ooh, my voice i'm sorry i don't know what that's about but I think I got everything. Then in the next video, we will cover these shimmers. Don't don't think we won't. I got you. I got, I'm going to. Oh boy. But that was that for that. I absolutely love it. Like my overall review is good. Just keep those two things in mind. But overall, I made a great purchase. I did. I really feel like I did. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys like this look, please let me know. I spent four hours on it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I spent, I've been sitting here for almost four hours. Um, so I've been putting in work, okay? So give me a like, give me a comment. If you're here at the end of the video, comment down below because like my videos, this video's gonna be kind of long. I want this video to be a thorough review and I wanted you guys to really see what this palette is talking about and also give a tutorial for the look. So today's video is probably gonna be a lot but i hope you enjoyed it um stay tuned for part two of this video it will be up shortly after this one 
subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get the notification when I hit that video and when I get the brush set and review that oh you get notification for that as well um yes I oh did you guys look I actually told my guys my background I love look at my black girl background like isn't she gorgeous I'll show you the full thing in another video because I can't with the pills right now but like look at her Ugh. okay that's it for today's video guys I'll see you guys in the next one